Okay, good morning y'all. It is 12.38 a.m. I've just spent an hour or so in bed tossing and turning and thinking to myself above all else. I just had a pretty major revelation when it comes to squatting. Let me explain it like this. So you guys know the common debate of is it better to lift heavy weights for low reps or light weights for high reps? And Tom Platts ends this debate once and for all. He says it's not about heavy weights for low reps or light weights for high reps, but rather it's about heavy weights for high reps. And he says that it takes a lifetime of training to be able to hit that kind of ability, to be able to train heavy weights for high reps. I think Tom Platts wasn't exactly wrong in his answer, but incomplete. I think we're missing another variable completely, which is frequency. Like Tom Platts, he himself only trains squats once every two weeks. But what if he would be able to accomplish the same amount of training in one week? What if with enough of the right training, he would have been able to lift the same weights in decreasing time intervals? Like what if he started at two weeks, squatting very heavy only once every two weeks, but then after years of deliberate practice in decreasing the time intervals, what if he could eventually lift that heavy, not twice a month, but twice a week? And this leads to my revelation, how I used to think over the past few weeks especially, that it was first most important to achieve the high weights. Like first you must bench 405 for one, before you can bench it for 30, but I don't think that's true. You won't be able to achieve such remarkable performance without extremely deliberate practice, day in, day out, maybe twice a day, day in and day out. This leads to me thinking that first, you must achieve high frequency. Maybe that is the appeal in Squat Every Day. I think we may have it backwards here, where we used to think first comes the weights, then comes the reps, then comes the frequency. I think it's the exact opposite now. What if it's the exact opposite, where first comes frequency, then comes reps, then comes weight? This just blew my mind. I'm honestly not sure if I'll even be able to sleep tonight because of this. What if, in order to achieve 25 reps with 525 pounds, which is what I consider to be a very noble life goal of mine. What if in order to achieve that, I first must be able to achieve 515 pounds for 25 reps. And then before and before and before, first would come 135 pounds for 25 reps building, building, building my way up there over a lifetime. Yeah, I I think it just blew my own mind. Well, if I'm not sleeping tonight, I still hope you guys are. So happy squatting and sweet dreams.